How you doing? I'm Will Allen, safety Pittsburgh Steelers, and you're watching Class Act Sports. Sports welcomes NFL safety of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Will Allen. Will, how's it going out there today? Struggling. <laughs> Struggling real tense right now, but I'm with a good group of guys and we're having fun and um, we're making some good shots, making some good putts, so I'm enjoying the day, but struggling on the golf. <laughs> Did you ever have an uh, opportunity to play with Warwick Dunn? I know you, you were on Tampa. You were on that Tampa team with Warwick? I was. I played with uh, Warwick for two seasons. Uh, it was fun playing with him and uh, you know seeing his uh, ability and you know, just his, uh, his flavor around the, the locker room is, is, uh, is, is really good. Uh, he has a really good impression uh, with, the, with the coaches, with the ownership, and with the younger players. You know, he was still helping me mature, and uh, just watching him um, is, uh, is amazing. Well, what's the biggest thing you learned from Warwick? Well, I grew up a Florida State fan, so watching Warwick Dunn and uh, fighting his adversity through life, taking care of his family, uh, still becoming a first-round draft pick, and his willingness to serve the community as uh, the biggest thing I, I learned from him. Uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's, he has a great heart and, uh, and tremendous character. And uh, it's, just, it's just good to see uh, men like that, uh, to, to humble themselves and to uh, just, you know, want to help other people in need. Oh, absolutely. Uh, talking a little bit about football last year, you know, you were on the Steelers. That was a tough go in the, uh, in the Super Bowl versus the Packers. You know, what was that like for you, reflecting on that, you know, after the game and everything like that? It was tough. It uh, still is tough, you know, because you still got that sour taste in your mouth. Everybody say you should get over. It's time to move on. But mm -hmm. it's going to be motivation for me uh, going into this season uh, um, after the lockout, you know. But, uh, you know, it was my, that was my first go around for some of those guys. It was their third go around. So, you know, I'm eager to get back. I'm eager to, to, to fight for my teammates. And, uh, you know, we got to win this time. Uh, no doubt about it. I mean, you're in the backfield with uh, one of the best safeties in the league, Troy Palomalu. What are one of the things that you take away from Troy's game that you try and instill in yours? Uh, Troy plays a game with his heart and uh, extremely instinctive. I like to say his awareness is like on a thousand when everybody else is on ten. So I mean, he's a uh, he's one of those other guys that has a, a great heart and uh, tremendous character, and um, he just he he cares a lot about the game, cares a lot about his teammates, cares a lot about the community, and uh, he's a very spiritual person as well. So. You know, I learned a lot from him just watching uh, his mistakes and watching the, the great things that he does on the field. So he's a wonderful person. You guys joke around at all about the hair after the head and shoulders? Yeah, we always laugh and joke and, and crack jokes. He's, he even does it at times, but, you know, it's, it's all good, man. His, his, uh, his hair is uh, popular, popular uh, you know, in our, in, our, in our league and in our culture, so it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. All right, well, thanks for your time from Class X Sports. Best of luck next season. Thank you.